Hey guys, it's Ashley from AMJ Tutorials and today we're going to learn how to make squishable stickers and after you learn this you could make any type of stickers but this example that I'm going to show today um, can help you in the future. But we're going to make squishable stickers and then use the print and cut feature on Cricut to print them out. And if you don't have a Cricut, then you can just manually, manually cut them out afterwards. So you don't necessarily have to have a Cricut for this. Okay, to start, we're going to go to Google. And you're going to go to the squishmoles.com website. And here on the, click on the collector's guide. And it has, um, tons of squishmals in this like collector obviously collector's guide <laughs> uh, so uh, my girls just had a birthday party and it was a squishmal birthday party and uh, I used these images to make decorations for them so okay so say you can type in whatever type you want to see if it's listed let's do um, this little dog I'm going to click on it Okay, if you notice that when, I'm obviously going to say second click on my mouse and copy the image. And you notice that there's not, it's not available. There are some images online and again, this is for personal use. I didn't uh, make these and sell. This was just for our use only. And now my girls are wanting just squishable stickers just to put all over their room or on their notebooks and stuff so so anyway second click there's no copy image on here so what I'm gonna do is use the snip and sketch on my Windows computer so um, there's also a the same thing on a Mac computer but for Windows you're going to hit on your keyboard you're going to hit the Windows logo key the shift key plus S and it's going to pop up and you can see it kind of grayed out on my screen and it's going to pop up you see up here in the corner and then it has a little plus sign okay for the Mac you're going to hit shift the command button and the number four and it should pop up the same thing so anyways I'm going to take my I'm going to click down and I'm going to draw a box over what I want. Okay, and then it pops up down here that it saved my image. So I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to I accidentally didn't get his head right there so I'm going to exit out and do it again. Windows logo key shift S to pop it up. I'm going to go a little bit higher and there we go okay click on it you're going to see save as we're going to save this image and we're going to name it uh, brown dog squish we're going to save it okay exit out okay another thing when printing stickers is it needs to be a PNG image with a transparent background. We don't need a background on it. To remove dot BG slash upload image, I use this all the time. It's amazing, it's free. So you're gonna type in that website and you're gonna go upload image, get my documents, and type in uh, what we saved it, brown dog squishmallow upload that image and you can see that it automatically removes the background. It removed the little sold out icon and everything. Now sometimes uh, when I did the girl's birthday um, it won't detect where the background was and the squishmallow if there's such light colored. So you can always go in here and edit and it shows you right here in the right erase and restore and uh, like we'll restore and you can see that it had that 
So if it didn't um, erase that in the in the first when they were removing the first background, you can always come in and erase what you don't want in there. Or you can restore if they sometimes they'll have this erased and you can come in and restore it because we want that. Okay, but this one uh, uploaded very good. Okay, so now then you're finished, you're going to download it. I'm going to download image. I'm going to second click it and show it in my folder. And I'm going to name it again Brown Dog to replace the last file so I don't get them confused. It's going to ask me to replace. Okay, now let's come into Inkscape. And the next thing is, is when we're printing on sticker, on a sticker sheet in Cricut, the dimensions for Cricut is uh, 675 by 925. So I'm just going to make a rectangle just to go by. This is just so I can stick all my stickers on here just to go by. So let's um, arrange it 675 by 925. That's the biggest you can print on a Cricut for your sticker sheet. And we'll delete this in the end, but this is just so it's a guide. Okay, so let's import that brown dog. So we'll say Control I, and I'm not in documents. There we go. Okay, brown dog squishmallow, and there he is. Okay, let's do a few more for practice. Mm. Take that snapping off so it doesn't magnetize my images so I can place them where I want them. Okay, go through and we'll get uh, just this one. Okay, again, we're going to hit the, win the Windows key, the Shift, and the S key. We're going to draw a box over the image we want. I'm going to click on it. We're going to save it. I don't know if it's a bear or not, but we're just going to say brown bear. Okay. We're going to go to our Remove BG website and we're going to upload image. We call it brown bear squishmallow. And it does all the work for you. Okay. Looks good. We're going to download it. I'm going to rename it back so I can replace that file. Drag it and put it in my documents. And then go to Inkscape and Control I and import that into All right, let's try another one that probably could might give problems. Let's do um, this cow might it might be a problem one. So I'll show you how to restore and erase it. Okay, Windows logo key on the keyboard, Shift S. We're gonna draw a box over what we want. We're going to click down in here. We're going to save it as cow squishmallow. Okay, we're going to go to our remove. We're going to upload the cow squishmallow. Okay, yeah, there you go. Okay, you can see that his ear, they removed the background on that. So let's edit. Go to the Erase and re Restore. We're wanting to restore it. And you can zoom in. And move 
over and color in what they erased. Okay, and I think everything else looks pretty good. Let's download it. Second click, show in folder. Second click, rename, cow, squishable. And we're going to replace that other file. Okay. Back to Inkscape and let's import it. Control I, cow, squish them all. Okay. You can see where that kind of got right there. You can go in and fix it and redo it, but for now we're just going to leave it be. So we can make them all different sizes, just whatever you want. Let's make sure to see how big these stickers are going to be. Let's go up here and click the down arrow and change this to inches. So it looks like it's going to be an one and a half inches. So let's just make them um, uh, three. And let's make them two. We can duplicate it by control D. If we wanted more cows, control D, control D. If we want another bear, control D, control D. Another dog, control D, control D, control D. And the cows are supposedly popular, so we'll just do another cow. Okay, so we got our sticker sheet filled. And again, remember the gray background behind was just a guide for me so I could see how many stickers I could fit on a sheet. So I'm going to click that gray background and I'm going to delete it. I'm going to draw a box by clicking my mouse and drawing a box over all the images. And I'm going to group them together by control G. Six point... Seven five by nine point two five. Okay. Now let's export it. I always like to click off and then click back on my image to make sure that it exports right because either there's a glitch on Inkscape or I have no idea what I'm doing. Either or could be the answer. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to save this as um, Squishable Sticker Sticker Sheet. We're going to save that. Okay, now we're going to import it into our Cricut. Okay, we're going to go up to New Project. We're going to say Upload. We're going to say upload image, browse, in my documents, because that's where I saved it, and we named it Squish Hello Sticker Sheet. It's going to pop up. There's our sticker sheet. We're going to complex, because we want the, um, it has a lot of detail, a lot of colors. We're going to continue, and there it shows us. Okay, we're going to preview the cut image. Okay, so it's going to tell you that once we print it on our printer, it's going to tell Cricut that it's going to cut around those edges. So sometimes um, if you have a rough edge, or like some things that you missed up here, they'll have like little brown or little gray spots 
and you can come down here and erase as needed. So you can erase it or you can restore. But this one looked pretty good. Okay, so we're going to apply and continue. And we want to do the print because we're going to print it on our printer and then we're going to load it into our Cricut and cut it. So we're going to upload. Okay, now we're going to select it and we're going to add it to our canvas. And now we're gonna make sure that our dimensions is right. And it's going to be, uh, we said 675 by 925. Okay, and then we're going to click make it. Okay, and it shows us right here. That's what it's gonna look like on our mat. All of our stickers are in the area. And we're gonna click continue. And then we're going to say, send it to printer. Okay, so now that we said that we're gonna send it to our printer on Cricut, I've got my sticker sheet where I got from um, a craft store. I don't know, I've had it for a while. so. It, Basically any craft store will have this sticker sheet. All sticker sheets are different. Some are shiny on one side, some are some are not. Uh, with this sticker sheet, the side is like dual and like kind of slick. And then this side is more rough, but I always um, peel up the sticker and the side on the edge and the side with the sticky tape always goes face down in my printer, okay? Okay, my sheet is printed. This is uh, my printer. I think I need to clean it. But anyways, the black rectangle around it is the marks that your Cricut machine detects. So it will print or cut around the image. So next we need to load it on a mat and send it into our Cricut. Okay, I've loaded it on my mat. I also used um, a light grip mat so the paper don't stick and tear. I adjusted my dial to paper and now I'm going to load it in. Let's unload our mat. And then it off just like that and it's a sticker all right guys thanks for watching i hope you learned something new today if you have questions or comments please comment uh, down below and happy creating